What's up guys? In this video, I will be showing y'all guys how to turn off the security boot on the Acer Aspire 5 right here. The reason for that is because, like I see, I'm trying to boot into this uh, HDD based on a USB, but in order to do that, I got to turn the security um, boot off. So let's go ahead and switch to the Acer Aspire 5. And also, I will be showing y'all guys why you should, um, why you have to turn it off, like what would do if you if you don't. And so let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing I'm gonna do is try to go into the BIOS file. So in order to do that, you just turn on the power and keep spamming the F2 button. So let me try that real quick. All right, it's turning on. So now I'm gonna keep spamming the F2 button. And just keep pressing it to pop up. And there we go. So yeah, all you do is press the power button and keep spamming the F2 until it come on. Then it brings you to the bio files right here. I will say, <clears throat> in the beginning, a lot of people will tell you to press F12, right? But the thing is, you actually have to enable it. So you really have to do this first, which is the F2. Keep spamming F2. Go to the top where it says, um, I think it's in, let me see if it's in MAME or is it in advanced? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, here we go, here we go, MAME. You can see I already got it enabled, F12 boot menu. So it goes straight to the boot menu. If you enable it, you gotta go down and then actually enable it. So I got my, see, enable, and then that way you can press F12. So now let me show y'all what happens when I try to boot into the, the little thing right here without turning out the security boot. So I'm gonna do a quick exit, and I'm gonna come back. So here we go. A lot of people might be having this problem right here. When you try to boot in from the boot menu and go straight to a USB, it does this. So I'm going to turn the power on. And instead, this time, I'm going to keep pressing F12. And it's going to boot into the other menu. So yeah, just keep pressing F12. And I think a lot of people try to do this first. And see, look, it takes you straight to the screen, just the boot menu. And you can choose the device you want to load into. For example, the HDD what I have right here. I just go down, press enter, and watch what happens. See, it's not gonna load. So if this is happening, this is what y'all guys do. It's gonna start the computer over because you gotta turn off the security boot. So now let me show y'all how to do that. So now that I showed y'all why, now I'm gonna go back to the original plan like I'm doing. Press the power button and spam F2. So keep spamming F2 to go back to the other BIOS file. The BIOS file, which is the original one, and it's going to pop up in a second. There we go. Here we go back at the BIOS menu. And what you actually got to do is you have to turn it off. But in order to turn it off, the only thing I hate, you do have to do like a security. You basically got to just, well, set a password for security because it's not going to let you um, disable. For example, you see security boot still enabled on boot. So you got to go to security. And yeah. Had to do a boot password as well. So what I would do is press enter and use a password that you can kind of remember because so you can come back later and turn it off. I'm just gonna do something simple. So I set a real simple password, go to save and watch this. Press enter. Now there you go. Now I got this is enabled where well, I set the password. Now I can go to boot. Now you see it let me choose it. So if I press enter. And look, now I can disable the security boot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Look at that. security boot disabled. Now let's try like go back to like I said how original what people try and doesn't work. We press like F12 for the boot menu and let's see what it does this time. Okay, now I started the computer over. Now we can do the F12 thing to load into the boot menu. So press the power button again and go back to spamming the F12 button. And it kind of loaded up pretty fast that time, but this time I'm gonna try to load into the actual USB thing I got right here. And let's see what happens. So let's press any key to stop the system reset. Okay, all right, let's give it a little time. And there we go, I was able to boot into my HD device. I will say some things take a little time to boot up, for example, like this one, just give it time and let it do its thing. And there we go. It let me load into the my HDD device I was trying to load load into. And I also want to show y'all how to turn a password off. That way you won't like accidentally forget it. Let me go do that real quick. So I shut the computer back down. What you're gonna do is go back to the BIOS menu, not the boot menu. Remember the boot menu is F12, the BIOS F2 where all the settings and stuff at. So I'm gonna do it once again. Turn the power on and spam F2. So I can go back into 
the actual BIOS menu. There we go, look, it says me enter a password because you're gonna always have to remember it. And mine was super simple. And let me boot, now I'm gonna go turn it off that way. Unless you like wanna leave it on, you might always remember it, but me, I'd rather just go ahead and turn it off after I did that. So go to security where it says enable, put in your password, press enter, say yes, yes. And look, the password has been disabled again, meaning the password is off. But guess what? Your security boot is still disabled. Same way with that. If y'all want to turn security boot back on, all you do is just go back to it. Like what I said, do the password thing again. Just enable it. Uh, instead, change it back to uh, enable. If you want to turn the password back off, go back like I just did and then turn it off. But I appreciate y'all guys for watching the video. But yeah, guys, there we go. Um, load it into. That's how you turn out the security boot to load into pretty much anything you're trying to load into which is pretty cool. I will say I definitely like the way that it works pretty good. But, yeah, I appreciate y'all guys for watching the video. Oh, yeah, guys, one more thing before I end the video. I noticed um, the one I said I had loaded into was this one, but for some reason it took me back to my regular computer and started my computer, and then this one popped up. So maybe a separate thing might pop up for your thing, and then when I press enter, it actually loaded into it. But, yeah, man, that's how you turn out security boot. Um, actually going to the BIOS menu for the Acer Spider file to get things to work. And appreciate y'all guys for watching the video.